Hi everyone! I wanted to show you some new books to the library that are graphic novels. We have many in the library and they're in their own section, but these are on the new books uh, shelf. So I wanted to give a little book talk about a few of them, see if any of them look good to you. Um, there's a, a newer series out, uh, Babysitter's Club graphic novel, and now there's a companion called The Babysitter's Little Sister. And this series has uh, about four books in the series, I believe, right now. And this particular one is called Baby um, Sitter's Little Sister Karen's Worst Day. And they're based on the novels by Anne M. Martin. There's even a Netflix show about this group of girls uh, starting their own babysitter's club. It's a really um, great series, been around for a long time, but really brought new as a graphic novel. So this might be a series um, or just the regular babysitter's graphic novel series that you want to check out. Another new one, most of these are middle grade level, so upper elementary and through middle school as well. This one is called Stepping Stones, and great one about a girl who um, needs to move with her mom to a farm. Her mom is getting remarried, and this man has two sisters, so she's going to get a brand new stepdad and some new sisters as well, and uh, it's not always easy blending into a new family, um, but a really great read and nice graphics. Um, this main character feels like she hates math and really loves to draw, so if that's something that appeals to you, um, you might wanna try Stepping Stones. Another doodle bill, the main character in this particular graphic novel, um, also is by Chad Sell, the author of The Cardboard Kingdom, if that's a book that you've checked out in the past. Uh, she is a doodler, her name is Drew, and all of her doodles come to life. So kind of interesting premise to this book and maybe a little bit of creepiness to it as well. So Doodleville might be something that appeals to you. The Runaway Princess is kind of an updated fairy tale about a princess who is really bored by palace life and decides to run away into the forest. There's even some pages that ask you as the reader to do something like help them out of a maze or shake the book to shake things up. So this one looks really great too. Twins by Varian Johnson and Shannon Wright about two identical twins who are starting sixth grade and they've always done everything together until this year and kind of follow them through the trials of middle school and um, developing their own identity and personalities and uh, becoming independent. So this one looks great too. Becoming RBG, this is a nonfiction biography um, style done in graphic novel form. Really interesting graphics and very timely since we lost Ruth Bader Ginsburg this year, but a really important figure um, in our history and for um, women in our country. So this might be something that you really wanna check out. It's a really good one. And last but not least, I Survived. So you might be familiar with the I Survived series, um, taking historical events and writing it almost like a memoir style so that it's as if the main character is giving you their their inside story of surviving these events from history. But this one is taken um, and is done as a graphic novel. So this one is I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic in 1912. We have many more graphic novels in the library, in the children's room and in our uh, young adult section. So give some of those a try. Bye-bye.